All right, today we're going to talk about the circadian lifestyle sandal from Earthrunners. And spoilers, this sandal is an absolute delight to wear, so stay tuned. All right, let's dive into our shut test. So for the sole S, this has a 1.5 millimeter tread, which is actually really good for sandals. I love the grip in these. And then this particular model has a 7.5 millimeter base, and I do believe that includes this canvas sole as well. So grand total, we're coming in at nine millimeters. Now this is a lifestyle sandal, so I've mainly used it for just walking around town. I've had it for about a year, and I've really been enjoying it. That being said, some people will use these for hiking and running. I have not tested that yet. Um, so again, this is mainly a look at the lifestyle side of things. So like I said, the sole is coming in at nine millimeters. It's nice and flexible. Uh, you lose a little bit of ground feel with it being that thick, but because I use this a lot uh, just going around town, it's nice in the parking lots and you know hard floor stores like Costco, walking around. Um, it is nice to have that little extra thickness, and you're really not losing much because it still is only nine millimeters. Um, so ground feel is pretty good. It's not the best I've felt, but it is pretty good. That being said, their earth grip footbed, i.e. this cotton canvas, feels incredible on your feet. It's a really natural feel versus some of the rubber ones. Um, it doesn't have that same natural feel that, of course, this cotton footbed does. And I absolutely do love that. Another thing about this sandal is it has a copper plug with copper wiring through the laces. They say it's great for grounding, getting more of that uh, electrical field from the earth into your body. I haven't done much homework on that, so I'm not going to speak to that, but just be aware that that is something that they are marketing it, it as. So whether it's the cotton liner or the copper plug or a mix of the both, I will say it just feels incredible to wear these shoes. This is the most natural feeling sandal that I've worn, honestly, even though some others are thinner. Uh, these still just have that overall grounding feel, if you will, even if it's not the electrical transfer, which again, I'm not going to speak to. Do your own homework on that. All right, the last thing about the sole, you'll notice it does look like it has a bit of a toe spring. It comes up. However, because it is so thin and light, you don't really feel that when it's on your foot. And once you have just the weight of your foot on there, it flattens out nicely versus an athletic shoe that's a lot more rigid. That toe spring is going to be a problem. So while it is bent up, uh, I don't consider that an issue at all in these shoes. So that is a look at the sole. All right, next we have the heel. As you can see, it is a zero drop heel. It's perfectly flat all the way across, which I love, and that's exactly what I always look for in a minimalist shoe. All right, as for the upper, I'm really a fan of the thicker webbing versus the thin laces because the force is distributed more evenly throughout your skin instead of digging tightly into one area. So it actually ends up being pretty comfortable. Now the exception is it takes a few wears to get used to having something between your toes if you're not used to that, uh, but that transition period is pretty short and once you get used to it, you don't even notice it's there. The other thing I really like about this is of course it's very customizable so you can get it locked onto your foot really nicely, lock it the lace in place, and then you don't have to adjust it every time you put your sandal on. You just bend the shoe to slip it on and off so you're locked and loaded and ready to go at all times. So the upper, totally solid pass, I love it. And also, as I mentioned earlier, it does have the copper wiring for grounding purposes. Lastly, we typically talk about toe box. There's clearly no toe box here, but the bed is great. It's plenty wide for a good toe splay. Uh, you're not gonna have your toes hanging off the side. There's plenty of space here. It's actually shaped like a foot and I love it. I've had this for about a year. Like I said earlier, I've been using it as a lifestyle sandal and I haven't been taking it out on the trails, but for my use, it's held up fantastic. You can barely even notice that the soles have been used. Um, there's a little bit of fraying on the edges here, but I think that just kind of adds to the look of the sandal overall anyway. It doesn't affect performance or comfort at all. And yeah, this is just an absolute delight of a shoe to wear. I don't say that about most shoes, uh, but for whatever reason, this one just feels really natural. I love it. Highly recommend it, so you should check it out for sure. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. This video was brought to you by the Functional Feet Program. If you want to learn how to have happy, healthy human feet, 
or how to transition into minimalist footwear and barefoot living, then head over to movementtraining.co to get all the information you need to know. Also, don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube, like us on Facebook, and follow us on our most active social profile, which is Instagram. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.